memories here with my brother-in-law Noah, it's my wife's brother. So you do. Thankful to uh, have my wife having an awesome brother. Uh, we are heading up this morning out of Hillsboro Inlet in South Florida. It is two days before the full moon and we are um, targeting Wahoo today. So this is Noah's first time out offshore fishing. So between uh, two amateurs, we should have some shenanigans today, but hopefully put some fish in the boat. It's supposed to be flat calm, like zero fish. It's a Sunday, so we're, we know it's gonna be busy. Uh, the flat seas aren't great for fishing, but we're gonna give it our best shot, especially in the first, first hour of light this morning. So I'm um, going out in the spread this morning. On the shotgun, we're trying this new, uh, looks almost like an Islander plus a squid. On the shotgun, we're gonna run it naked to start with, and then I might wind up putting a bonita strip on later on if it's not producing. Then we're gonna run um, on one outrigger, the uh, the pink tuna taco. On the other outrigger, we're gonna run an Islander. We're gonna run this uh, blue and white sea witch with a squid. On uh, the planer rod, the far one, we're gonna run a, a four six planer. If you wanna know about inline planer fishing, see my last video where we uh, caught a kingfish and even a grouper. And then on the closest to the boat, we're gonna run this uh, DTX 200 minnow hoping to entice a big wahoo to strike. So, we're gonna go out there, give it a shot, troll them for a couple of hours, see how we do. And then uh, if the trolling isn't going well, we'll try a little bottom fishing, maybe a little bit of drifting. We're just gonna see what the conditions do and take us and enjoy the day. Thanks for tuning in. getting the spread out. We had three or five lines out and we found this piece of bamboo. We're not sure what's under it, so we're gonna fish this for a minute, put the lines back in, out in 400 feet of water, and see if we can get hooked up early. If not, we'll redeploy this. Six foot bamboo log, vertical, and 400 feet of water. So we threw some live pilchards at it. Normally a pretty good sign, but nothing on so far this morning. We're gonna get the spread out now and get to trolling. We finally got all the, all the uh, all five lines out. We got a full spread. We're gonna bounce around between 100 and 300 until it gets too busy, then we'll go a little bit deeper and see if we can get hooked up up here. All right, we're in. 326 feet of water and the deep lip lure just got hit. Here. No, put this on the bottom. Okay. Double hook up. I think this is a knockdown, this one's not on. There you go, nice and easy. Can you turn the alarm off? Turn that thing up, yeah. Yep, there you go. Use your thumb to spread it out. Is he on? Yeah. You got that uh, planer rod, make sure you stay under that planer rod, there you go. Wait, that's crossed up, hold on. It looks like the wahoo we're looking for too. Okay, wait, what side is it on? Okay, bring it over here. There you go, find it, find it on the left hand side, yep. Bring your body down here to the left. Yep, and walk straight back, Noah. Great wahoo. Whoop. Okay, bring it over that. Watch it. Get, give it. Give it some slack. Open. Open that yeah, drag up. I got slack. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yep. Just keep it straight. So we got one on the boat, and it looks like one on the planer too. We might have a double wahoo hookup, and we had a knockdown on the outrigger, so we may have had three hit all at once. Full moon wahoo fishing, baby. Woo! Nobody's even got one in the box yet.
staying low. There we go. Not a huge one. Well, you know what? A double hook up to start the morning. We'll take it. Maybe even like a little bigger than the other one. You want me to get that again? Yes, great gaff shot too. <laughs> I got Give this guy some slack. Woo! No, it's not bigger. No, yours is, yours is bigger. But to you, Wahoo, still first thing in the morning. This is why you get up. 4 a.m. to get out here on the first light bite. Nice. Start the morning. Couple Wahoo going in the box. Sailfish break water up here two or three times about 30 yards up ahead of us here. We're trying to troll through and see if anything here is still in the vicinity. The same five lines spread out. We've gone another half an hour without any bites since we caught the wahoo. We're out in almost 400 feet of water. So when you're out here, this is relatively flat. You can see a long ways. If your radar isn't new enough to pick up the birds, but that goes for the wind. Sometimes you find that little piece of debris, and that'll be all you need. You can come a bit of mahi, if you find a wahoo underneath it, but the further you can see, the better off you are. So if you got more than one person on the boat, you can get a chance to look out. Definitely get some binoculars and see what you can find. They're worth their weight in gold out here. Any more bites since the uh, triple wahoo hookup where we caught two of those. We um, brought in two of the smaller lures and added bonita strips to them since that seemed to be part of the ticket. And we're going to get this maybe another hour. We're still out in deep water, three to four hundred. Uh, didn't catch anything on where we saw the sailfish jumping and um, trying to get one or two more bites before we might change over and do a little bit of uh, bottom fishing before we head in for the day. So. Hoping to get tight here with some fresh baits out in the water and trying to find them out here. We're standing out of the riffraff, staying a little bit deeper, trying to uh, put a couple more fish in the box. Well, after two hours, we wound up just uh, north of Boynton. We came back to Boynton, anchored up at about 80 feet of water off of this ledge, trying to drift in, pick up a mutton or two. We've been out for already like 15 minutes, and we'll give it another 15 or 20 before we head in. We've got um, a live gog on this bottom rod here with a 16 ounce bank sinker. Noah's uh, hand lining some squid into the chum line, hoping we pick up maybe a, a yellowtail if we get something going there. Got a live pilcher on the flat line, and we've got another live pilcher down here on a uh, eight ounce bank sinker. So, a couple different baits. We'll give it a shot here for, as I said, like 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll uh, call it a day. And uh, bottom fishing, you know, it's like a shark coming in. Last of the bottom troll was not super productive. We um, had a bunch of cutoffs, so either some kings or maybe some some Spanish max. But uh, we went to wire to stop the cutoffs, and the bite just died. So after after an hour, we uh, pulled up anchor. We're just trolling back with um, low expectations. We dipped in a little shallower, 120 feet here, hoping to maybe look into a king and mix up the bag a little bit. Heading back to Pompano, but overall. Pretty solid day, enjoyed a day with my uh, brother-in-law and never a bad day out here. Cheers, Noah. guys this is the smaller of the uh, two wahoo we caught just gonna um, cut this into some decent chunks I think uh, gonna feed the family visiting and a couple of our friends and neighbors and mostly everybody tonight's gonna want this into some form of sushi so we're gonna probably pull the skin off of off of um, both sides to start and then I'll leave the some skin on the other one to uh, to grill it up later so just 
letting that breath get in there and work down the backbone. They um, froze a little funny in the fish box, had to kind of cram them in to get both of them in there long ways. There we go. Get the rest of those bones off afterwards. Oh man, these are what I call little little edibles as you're getting to enjoy. So good. Oh man, another extra one. So I'll treat while you're filleting. Just get to release off of the shoulder up here. You should be about good to go. guys so we wound up not picking up anything on the afternoon troll and not too productive on the uh, bottom bite either so we came home with two wahoo but you know what we uh, hit three wahoo hit all at once uh, two of them hooked up we landed both of them so still a great day the family requested another uh, sesame wahoo dinner tonight so we're gonna start off with a little bit of uh, toasted sesame oil I got a couple of nice fillets in the bag here so we're just gonna dump a little bit of sesame oil in there we're going to toss in a whole bunch of soy sauce. Put that marinated in there. And finally, a spoonful of minced garlic, and I'm lazy so I don't chop my own. We'll toss that in there. Let this work its way in for about a half an hour or so while we cut up some fresh wahoo sushi and uh we'll see you on the fish that we're going to grill up is marinating but the family is hungry everyone wants a little bit of fresh wahoo so we um all i did was grab one of our nice nice fillets just rinsed it patted it dry so it's ready to go here we're just gonna cut off a nice nice slice of that nice sushi size slice there do a couple of little jalapeno slices here. I'll just grab one of these. Okay, hold on a little bit for my for my co-captain. Okay, get down, get down. And um, it's really, it's really simple. So all I'm gonna do is grab the uh, little bit of wahoo here, and just some soy sauce onto a cracker. Top it off with a slice of jalapeno. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna cut this up. All right, guys, grills, grills heated up. Had a little uh, Wahoo sushi snack. We're uh, gonna drop this in now. So we've got these fillets. So these look amazing. We're gonna drop these uh, down, flush side up, just for a couple of minutes, and then we are gonna flip them in about th after 30 seconds and then grill them for maybe one minute. So we're talking like 90 seconds total uh, cook time here. So we grab these, like I said, flush side down to start. Great looking Wahoo filet. Save that marinade. I'm gonna give it uh, 
just a few seconds here. Put just a little bit of sear on the top of the um, top of the flush side, and we'll flip it over. And if you've seen my previous videos about Wahoo, you know I'm a big proponent of eat them, eating them raw or minimally cooked. Like I don't cook Wahoo more than like two minutes. So we're gonna flip this over. Spatula helps when you got a hot grill, which you should. Alright, so let me show you what these look like. So we're going to drop in the, uh, the rest of the marinade on top of them. And then we're going to uh, let them grill for about 90 seconds with a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's it. This fish tastes so good by itself, there's no reason to do a whole lot more than that to it. So we'll turn this back on and show you the, uh, the finished product. Alright, here's the final outcome. Nice big fresh wahoo fillet swimming in the ocean this morning. On our plates this evening, we just cooked up a little bit of uh, Asian salad and some green beans. Cheers to Noah, catching his first offshore fish. Wahoo, way to Cheers go. To Cheers to taking me guys. out, thank you. Bon appetit.